what if I told you that AI could make guessing animal sounds more exciting than ever? Today, we're turning a simple animal sound quiz into an adventure. In addition, we'll discover why playing these animal guessing games with AI beats traditional methods. Your kids won't just be asking what sound this animal is, they'll be discovering a whole new way to learn and play. Ready to see how AI transforms this classic game? The gameplay segments are shown in real time to give you an authentic experience. Hello ChatGPT, how are you today? Hi, Selena. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's your day going? I have a game for you. I'm here and ready to chat. What's okay. on your mind today? Okay, so this is the game. I am what I am, it's called. And so, for example, you will say, I am... And then Got it. we have to guess, like, oh, what is that? Is that a lion? You get it? Absolutely. I get it. That sounds like a lot of fun. Want to give it a try? These games can be used for any language. They can also be adjusted for any level. I am... Roar. Uh, tiger! Did you hear that? Tiger, she said. Yes, I heard that. A tiger is a great guess. Ready for another one? How about I am oink oink? A pig. Exactly. Great job. Want to keep going with another one? Go ahead. Go ahead. This century would be great. Great choice. Let's keep the animal fun going with a little trip to the farm. I am Moo. A cow. Spot on. You're really good at this. Do you have another animal in mind? Or should I come up with the next one? You can come up with the next one. I'm just telling uh, the audience here that Obviously, this game is for younger kids, but we are just showing different kinds of games for all ages. Uh, so yeah, you could try a little more difficult if that's possible, but, uh, an animal that is a little more difficult than just a pig or a cow. All right, let's make it a bit more challenging. I am Squawk. Uh, a goose. Yeah, I think. Like a goose or like a duck? Is it a goose or a duck? Is it it's chicken? It's actually a parrot. Parrot? But oh, yeah, I can yeah. see how that could sound like <laughs> a goose or a duck. <laughs> Want to try another one? I have to tell you that it's never been easier to leverage AI to help your children with developing languages. So now you don't even have to prompt chat GPT anymore. You can basically just speak to it. Or do you have an animal in mind? I have, a, I have an animal. I am a... <laughs> Did you guess that chat GPT? It sounded like you were thinking of a goose or a duck. No. But I'm not. No. Okay, let, let, let's try it again. All right, let's give it another go. I'll make a sound, and you can guess the animal. No! I am... A ghost! As you can see, ChatGPT sometimes doesn't make an exact animal sound. Rather, it makes a sound word. This will definitely be better over time, and at the end of this video, you can see that we're able to teach ChatGPT to sound like an owl. For now, I will suggest that you repeat the sound word in an animal sound to give your kid a better understanding. See our downloads for more info on this. 
but now let's talk about why this game works better with AI than with traditional methods. Daddy, is AI better than my animal sound books? Think about it. While traditional games stay the same, AI actually learns and improves. It's like having a learning partner that gets smarter. And it tells me if I sound like a real elephant, right? Exactly. Not only can AI give honest feedback about your animal sounds, but it remembers what, you know, uh, animals you've learned before. Try getting a book to do that. Plus, here's something cool. AI can show your kids how a rooster sounds different in French and English. And if your children gets curious about why roosters crow in the morning, just ask. The AI's ready to explain. And when it's too easy, we can make it harder. Right. You can adjust the difficulty in just seconds. Now, let's get back to our animal guessing game and see what other sounds we can discover. I am a ghost. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. Wind? The wind? Or what? A ghost. Great guesses. It could definitely sound like wind or a ghost. But I was actually going for an owl. Owl. Want to try it? Oh no no no. Okay, listen. I'm I'm gonna teach you the owl. Okay. Ooh, 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 all right. Ooh, I'm all ears. Ooh, ooh. Let's hear your best owl impression. Can you try to learn from us? Okay. Uh, uh, try this one. Ooh, 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 I'm ready. Ooh, ooh. Go ahead and teach me. How does your owl sound? Try that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's a great owl sound. I'll remember that for next time. Thanks for teaching me. Want to try another animal? Or is there anything else you'd like to do? Can I say an, an animal? And you guess the animal I say. Alright, let's hear it. What's your animal sound? Can you hear that? It was a bit faint, but it sounded like it could be a bird of some kind. Was uh, it a crow? It's more like a bee. <laughs> a bee? Oh, that's pretty good. How was that? <laughs> that's pretty good for an AI. There are some guidelines in how you should prompt or like talk to it settings you should have and so on so you can download that from the description also you can download our guide on how to make it more difficult or easier if you go to the playlist that this video is a part of you will find a lot of videos join us for the next episode please coming up in the next episode tongue twister challenge. So your guidelines won't let you do a tongue twister? That is pretty oh, crazy. Glad you think so. Let's see how you do. <laughs> she sells seashells at seashell. <laughs> ChatGPT, can you just take a break? <laughs> Peeper Piper picked a pickle of pickers. <laughs>